say this is the altar call. It's a little intimidating to do an altar call in front of all these pastors sitting right at the lead table. How about that? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a couple of comments because I have to uh, take a moment. You know I love a microphone. I don't get one as much as I used to have one. Levita said it's like walking into a moving stream to serve in public office or a moving train sometimes. But uh, this is a man who has prepared himself in the most extraordinary way. And I want to just mention one experience that I had with Kevin Thorpe and his tenure as a leader in this community, as a man of faith, as a man of giving. During the tenure that uh, Commissioner Long and I were privileged to serve together, we uh, started, clearly did not finish, but started an effort to address the problem of homelessness here in Alachua County, which is extraordinary. And we made a specific effort to reach out to the faith community, and there are more than 300 faith organizations in this great county. And uh, I will say many of them did not step forward. I'm proud my own church, Holy Trinity did. Uh, but Kevin Thorpe stepped forward, not once, not twice, but many, many times. And he made his church open and available to me and to Commissioner Long and to others who were making appeals on behalf of the community, not once, but many, many times. Now, I am going to uh, fully disclose that the other Democratic candidate is a dear and old friend of mine. I went to Buholtz with Ken. And I will confess that when he was running against one of my closest friends, Hutch, I said, I will support you next time, Ken. And I find myself in a difficult position because I cannot not support Kevin Thorpe. He has done too much good and been too consistent. <laughs> and so what I am saying is, I believe they will both eventually serve on the county commission. You will decide who will serve first. Now it's dangerous to quote scripture in front of so many men of God, but to everything there is a season. And you are going to decide whether this is Kevin's season. Now, Rodney mentioned money. Let me tell you a little thing about money. My two toughest campaigns, I was outspent as well. Not by much, okay? You gotta give money to help your, because you know, you in this room are the cream of the crop. You are the citizens of the community that participate in things. You go to all the different meetings. You watch Channel 12. I don't know how you do it, but you watch Channel 12. You pay attention to what's going on. Most people don't have the luxury to do that. They don't have the interest. They didn't, they didn't come up interested in the community and politics the way you did. And they will amble into the polls, some of them in August, most of them in November, and make a decision. And how will they make a decision? Oh, I saw a mailer from this person. I saw a yard sign. I think my friend supports this person. How do they get to know that? Y'all all have one of these in front of you. I want you to pull it out. Pull this out right now. I want you to find a pen. Does everybody have a pen? Okay, we're gonna get the pens out. Now, I want you to put all of the information that we're gonna need to get your name into the report. And down here where it says contribute. The maximum amount is $250. I don't know about you. I'm probably not going to get there at one shot. I might get there at five shots, five $50 checks. Then you got a spouse. You might have a business. You might have a friend. $10 is great if that's what you have. But something, something. That's how we express our support for candidates in this day and age. It is unfortunate. We all admire Walken Lawton walking across the state of Florida. I'm not sure Walken Lawton would come up against $100 million with Rick Scott and make it these days, right? Now, fortunately, that's not the situation in Alachua County. We have limits. We're not going to go crazy here, but you need to give something. Amen. I heard an amen from, <laughs> from my friend. Okay. 
And uh, I want to just close by thanking Kevin. I have seen him in action. I attend most of the Envision Alachua uh, task force meetings, and he is a man of extraordinary intellect, of extraordinary heart. I'm going to tell you, Alachua County is not one community. It's lots of different communities, and we need to work toward being more of one community where people understand that their own neighborhood may be different than other neighborhoods, and we all come together, and we need to all have a shared uh, vision for this community. This is a man who understands that. I've seen that he understands that. And this is his season. So we need to make it true. I want to thank you all. Don't forget, I'll feel bad if you didn't give as much as you can tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for running.